Genetic diagrams or Punnett squares can be used to show monohybrid inheritance where characteristics controlled by a single gene are passed on to offspring. Let us look at how you would draw a Punnett square and then look at some exam examples. Firstly, identify the parent's genome. If the question has not given you a letter to use, you may use any letter you like, remembering that a dominant gene is always represented by a capital letter and a recessive gene by a lowercase letter. Draw a table as shown here, splitting the alleles from each parent and then adding them into your Punnett square. So if we look at the father in this example, he has two dominant alleles on his chromosomes. And so each box represent a gamete or sex cell. And we know that each gamete contains half the genetic information. Therefore, each of the two boxes, we place one version of the gene from one chromosome into one box and the other gene from the other chromosome into the other box. We do the same thing for the mother, but this time she has one dominant and one recessive allele. So her eggs represented by the boxes will either contain the dominant allele or recessive allele. Finally, complete the Punnett square by inserting the different genetic combinations in the offspring as shown in the table. Remembering when you have a dominant and a recessive, you should write the dominant letter first. Let's look at an exam style question. In this example, cystic fibrosis is an inherited disorder that mainly affects the lungs and the pancreas. It is caused by a recessive allele. Complete the Punnett square and write down the probability a child is born with cystic fibrosis. So from this question, we can establish the following. Firstly, cystic fibrosis is caused by a recessive allele, which means that the lowercase f must be the cystic fibrosis gene. For recessive genes to be expressed in the phenotype, there must be two versions of it. In box one, it would be capital F, capital F. Box two, capital F, capital F. Box three, capital F, lowercase f. And box four, capital F, lowercase f. In this case, there's zero chance that any child that this couple will have will be born with cystic fibrosis. We can use family pedigrees to see how genetic disorders are inherited in a family. It also allows us to work out the chance that someone in a family will inherit a condition. Look at this example. What is the chance that Sue has the disease? The chance is 50%. Sue's mother, Steph, has cystic fibrosis, but her father, Larry, does not. However, Larry must be a carrier because Sue's sister, Paula, has the disease and it is caused by a recessive allele. So if we were to look at this as a Punnett square, Sue's mother would have two recessive alleles as she has the disease. Larry would have one dominant and one recessive allele. Completing the Punnett square, it would look something like this we can see that there's a 50% chance that a child being born to Steph and Larry would have cystic fibrosis. We can also use genetic diagrams to predict the probability of being born a male or female. We know that a male has X and Y chromosomes and a female has two X chromosomes. If we now complete the Punnett square, we can see that there's a 50% probability that a child being born is either male or female. Hi, my name is Mr. Science, aka Salim. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. And for more teaching resources, you can visit my website at www.mrscience.co.uk.